hello and welcome to my youtube channel today i will begin with a very important interesting topic that is friction in friction there are so many important content two content i have written here law of friction coefficient of friction again angle of friction angle of repose and so on but today i will discuss about laws of friction and coefficient of friction before or uh, before making any comment or any opinion on friction one thing i know that you everyone know about friction where there is rough surface there is friction but why laws of friction is important because in science in physics specifically in physics laws rules formula conditions this all things together takes place so if there is a friction and a motion is taking place emotion of a body which is moving on a rough surface which law commands this whole phenomenon so on the rough surface there are four important phenomenon four important laws are very much interesting and very much needed to know what are they one by one i will describe suppose a body of mass m is lying on a rough surface here the weight of the body mg that will act vertically downward the normal reaction will act vertically upward and therefore r is equal to mg that will balance but if we apply an external force here then between the two surface which are in contact due to friction due to roughness of the surface the opposing force in opposite direction of the motion will be developed this is frictional force and the frictional force f is directly proportional to r that is normal reaction this is the first law this is the first law and what is the second law second law indicates the direction of this force of friction is opposite to the motion the direction suppose motion is along right part of this body the frictional force will act opposite this is the second law what is third law if two surfaces are in contact if two surfaces are in contact contact like that then all points of the surfaces are not in contact very few points are in contact that means the total surface area which are in contact is independent of the frictional force total surface some points are in contact not total very interesting thing so it is independent of this total phenomenon of motion in frictional motion you can say now the fourth point that is it depends upon nature of the material upon the material of the surface which material the surface is made of it always counts here 
सो फोर थिंग्स फोर लॉज फोर फिनोमिन फोर लॉजिक्स फोर पॉइंट्स दीज आर द नेम ऑफ लॉज ऑफ फ्रिक्शन इन सिंपल वे आई एम टॉकिंग अबाउट आई थिंक यू हैव अंडरस्टूड इट नाउ कम टू द अनदर पॉइंट एंड दैट अनदर पॉइंट इज वॉट दैट इज कोफिशियंट ऑफ फ्रिक्शन कोफिशियंट ऑफ फ्रिक्शन ए वेरी इंटरेस्टिंग कोफिशियंट इट वेरी डिफरेंट एंड वी कैन एक्सप्लेन लाइक दैट कोफिशियंट ऑफ फ्रिक्शन दैट इज कोफिशियंट ऑफ फ्रिक्शन कोफिशियंट ऑफ फ्रिक्शन दैट मीन्स If f proportional to r, then f is equal to a constant will come here. That constant, let that is mu into r. So mu is equal to f by r. This is known as coefficient of friction. Depending upon the type of motion. i will discuss later what type of friction static friction dynamic friction limiting friction depending upon that type the value of mu adjusts itself but overall concept is that the coefficient of friction mu is equal to f by r it is very important formula the so force of friction divided by normal action this is known as coefficient of friction there is no unit of this uh term coefficient of friction of this coefficient because both are force and normal reaction both unit are same therefore due to being ratio there is no unit of mu i think you have got it now come to the another content that is angle of friction angle of friction angle of friction what is angle of friction is can be ex, uh, expressed by the help of can be explained by the help of the diagram here is the object this is the normal reaction weight mg and the coefficient of uh, the force of friction is suppose along this direction then the resultant of this f and r max this resultant let this resultant be p it max angle theta with vertical this angle is known as angle of friction that means if we consider it o a b c point the triangle a triangle o a b in triangle a o b o a b in triangle o a b we can write here tan theta is equal to p by b a b this is perpendicular by base this one by o a and ab is represented by force frictional force and this o is is represented by r that is tan theta is equal to f by r therefore theta is equal to tan inverse f by r this angle theta is angle of friction i i am talking about angle of friction 
means angle of friction can be calculated by this formula and one important uh, relation just you can witness here that tan theta is equal to f by r and mu is equal to also f by r since tan theta is equal to f by r i just before concluding my lecture tan theta is equal to f by r here equation 1 tan theta is equal to f by r and also just we have uh, studied about mu is equal to f by r this is equation 2 by 1 and 2 we can relate that tan theta is equal to mu that means in terms of coefficient of friction theta can be written as tan inverse mu the very important formula and relation you can say for the sake of numerical i think you have got it please like subscribe share and comment thank you